Welcome to the place of learning where we learn and we like it. So today I would like to go over the difference between an integration by parts problem and an integration by substitution problem and how you can tell the difference by looking at them. As you can see, we've got a couple of integrals here. I'm going to tell you right from the start, because I'm an honest guy, that this one here is going to be done by parts and this one is going to be done by substitution. Now, hopefully you know by now the basic uh, mechanics of how each one of these techniques is applied, like integration by parts, that's when you choose the u and the dv, and you use those to construct a du and a v, and then you put them into the integration by parts formula, which says uv minus integral of v du. Substitution says you pick a u, use that to generate a du, and then the integrand, the thing you're taking the integral of, should consist of a u and a du, maybe you and some constant multiples of those. But if the, uh, if the method is successful, what you can do is construct the integrand completely out of the u and the du. So let's look at why integration by substitution is not a good fit for this first one on the left. In order for integration by substitution to be a good fit for something, it has to be in two pieces because otherwise there's no u and du. Here, there's really only one piece and that's the ln x dx. Now, you might say, well, uh, integration by parts requires parts as well, right? Like pieces, parts, that's in the name. Uh, sort of and sort of not, watch this. What you do is actually for this, you choose u to be ln x and you choose dv to be simply dx. In this case, du ends up being one over x dx and v ends up being, now we're going to integrate one dx. So v ends up being x. Now the integration by parts formula, formula tells us that this will be uv minus integral of v du. Okay, well, let's put in the values that we already got here. uv is x times ln x. And then I'm gonna be subtracting the integral of v du. Well, v was x and du was one over x dx. So if I multiply v by du, I get x over x dx. Well, hopefully you won't be too offended if I say that x over x is just the number one. So I'm gonna replace it with the number one dx. The fact that we're talking about ln x as the input function means that already we have the implied condition that x must be greater than zero. So you'll notice that I didn't say that the uh, derivative of ln x is like absolute value of one over x because I'm already assuming that we're only dealing with positive x values. This integral of one dx ends up being x. And then we have the infamous plus c. So the final answer here is x times ln x minus x, and then plus the constant of integration. Okay, so this is how integration by parts is able to handle that really well. Let's look at why substitution is a good method for the next one. We want this to consist of a u and a du. The u should be something that uh, generates the rest of the integrand when you take its derivative. So if we take u, I'll use blue for this. If you use u equal to ln x, why does this work? Well, look at this. We have the u on the top here, and then the du is going to consist of the remainder of the function. It's x, um, it's dx over x. So uh, let's look at that. What is du? It'll be one over x dx. Again, we're assuming that x is greater than zero, so we don't need to do that uh, absolute value nonsense. What I like to do is actually solve for dx so that I can be like as specific as, uh, as possible. Like I, I like things to be really like step by step. So I'm going to put in dx equals, and then I'll solve for dx in that equation. I just multiply by x on both sides, x times du. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this integral and rewrite it in terms of the u 
and the du that I just came up with. Ln x, this right here is u. So this will be u over x. Now, so far that's bad news because I need this integral to be in terms of u, but hang on because now the, the rescue is gonna come from the dx. I said that dx is equal to x du. So, so far I've put in ln x that turned into u. I've put in x, which stayed as x. And now dx is going to be x du. This is where the rescue is gonna come in because the x on the top and the x on the bottom, guess what's gonna happen? Boom, boom, those are gone. And then I've got that this is simply equal to integral of u du. Once you get an integral to be something evaluable, something that you can actually do in terms of the variable u, that's how you know your substitution was successful. And we know that this is going to be u squared over two du. Oops, that du doesn't belong there because I evaluated the integral. What I'm thinking of is plus c. So u squared over two plus c, but the original problem was in terms of x, not in terms of u. So I'm going to say this is equal to the u, so ln x squared over two and then plus c. So how could I tell to use parts for one of them and substitution for the other one? Well, in the first problem, the integration by parts problem, if I used u equal to ln x, that yields a pretty simple du because one over x dx is a simple function. It does away with the complicated thing about ln x. If I use dv equals dx, this has a simple integral. So to go from here to here, you take a derivative. To go from u to du, that's a derivative. To go from dv to v, that is taking an integral. So what you want is for u to have a simple derivative and you want dv to have a simple integral. If you make these choices where u has a simple derivative and v has, I'm sorry, dv has a simple integral, then your integration by parts is going to work. But integration by parts would not work for the second function because here, uh, there's no way to construct it out of a u and a dv so that they each have a simple integral. Uh, the u has a simple um, derivative and the dv has a simple integral. Um, we could do one more example, but I think that I've already been talking for long enough. So listen, if you want uh, to get more attention to these topics, feel free to give me a buzz at 617-966-3198. You can also visit me online at sntutoring.com and we can set up some sessions for you to go over your homework. Have a great day.